My name is Diana Selanik. I'm a medical epidemiologist with the Center for Global Health at the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, Georgia. I was drawing blood from a 19-month-old boy who was very sick and that mother of the child died from HIV AIDS. I took a needle and syringe, I successfully drove a blood, and for unknown reason, I used two hands to recap a needle. And at that moment, I experienced an uh, injury at my left hand. Until today, I will remember the pain and what was going inside me, realizing that a needle has been just placed in the vein of the patient. And with same needle, I got needle stick injury. I didn't know what to do. In the panic, I squeeze a wound. I request a strong bleach solution. I dump my finger in the bleach solution. Well, that time I did everything wrong. A squeeze in the wound can cause microtrauma and the swelling. The use of the caustic agent, such I did with the bleach, can cause additional damage of the tissue and make injury worse. From my experience that actually I didn't know how to manage properly a needle stick injury and splashes, I become a very vocal supporter of the healthcare worker safety and I think that each healthcare worker should be aware of the risk that bloodborne pathogen exposure may pose and need to know the proper way to report that injury and to take care till course of post-exposure prophylaxis of course it's indicated. I learned that post-exposure prophylaxis is an effective way of the preventing HIV after needle stick injury. However, is not everybody aware of that? Doing some assessment in healthcare facilities was very sad when you got results and say that healthcare provider experienced injury but didn't report. And uh, moreover, when you do deeper analysis, you realize that healthcare worker didn't know that should report injury, or she or he was a scare of HIV testing and receiving results. Some studies found that healthcare providers, for example in Kenya, report only 4% of their own injuries because of fear of testing. There are similar studies done in other countries and fear of disclosure, fear of testing, HIV stigma, it's actually factors who are real and healthcare providers are not going to report. So that was indication for me that something needs to be done, that environment at the facilities need to be changed. I work in Africa, I work in Asia. Issues and problems across the regions are same. The healthcare providers need to be aware of the risk that needle stick injury or splash may carry. They need to know where to report and how to report, and they need to follow doctor's advice. At the same time, the policy needs to be in place to create that supportive environment that healthcare provider feel welcome to report injury and not to be punished. My message to healthcare worker, if you experience needle stick injury or injury with the sharps or splashes, I know how you feel because I was there. But today we have tools and we have a way to prevent HIV um, infection after the exposure. Report immediately your injury to your supervisor who should release you from your duties that you can go and report your injury to post-exposure prophylaxis counselor. <laughs>